Welcome back. Now finally, to finish off our previous exercise, we need to make sure to drill those two holes that we just finished doing the spot drill on all the way through. To do that, we're just going to do a normal drill all the way through those holes. So let's get started on that by going back and just like we did a, a spot drill operation, we're going to go back and click on drill. And then what you want to do now is click on last. This means it will select the last two points that you've uh, already drilled. You'll see a little line up here right in between there. Now, if you see that those uh, tool path right here is getting in the way of your drawing, all you have to do is hold Alt and then press on T button, and it will disappear on you. So now you can see that line a little bit better. So you don't have to see that tool path all the time. So go ahead and click on the check mark, and then your options menu will appear. And we'll get started by going to Tool and placing our half inch drill in there. So to do this, go to Filter and then make sure to uncheck the spot drill and then check on the drill and of course we want it to be half an inch just like previously go down and click on the check mark now go to select library tool and you're going to see your half inch drill appear and click on the check mark to add it you'll see your half inch drill appear so now of course back again to your feed rate and you want to change this to 30 and then your spindle speed to 4500 and let's comment by saying we're going to drill through because we're drilling those holes through and then click on that fly button. Now come over here to cut parameters and of course again make sure the drill counter bore is selected and go back to link in parameters and as we chose earlier in our spot drill you're going to see the same features but this time you want to make sure to have selected at least an inch to make sure your tool goes all the way through your part. Remember your part is about an inch long. So to be safe you can go uh, negative maybe like 1.1 inches or 1.25 if you want to be even safer. This way you know your tool is going all the way through your whole part. So to do this after you're done with that just go to actually tip comp over here. And then you want to make sure you select tip comp. And this what will tell you what what well, this is trying to tell you that this is gonna go about a little bit more than your normal half an inch. So even if you do select uh, an inch, I'm sorry, for your link and parameters or for your cut parameter to go down an inch, this will make sure it goes down a little bit more than an inch to make sure it clears all the way through your hole. So you want to have that selected. And all these options basically explain exactly what this tool is doing and how much distance this tool is coming down and in what angle of course as well. So whenever when you check the tip comp, you click on the apply button and then we're done here. So click on the check mark and what you want to do now is go ahead and run your program. So I'm going to click on machine group 1 to run my whole entire program to make sure it's running good and then go ahead and click on verify selected operation. You're going to see our little verify menu up here and now go ahead and click play and then just watch it. Going to do our first uh, tool path. Now it's going to spot drill the holes and then it's going to drill through. Now to make sure it drilled through them, what I'm going to do is click and hold the scroll button in my mouse and then just move it around. And as you can see, it drilled right through the hole, right through our part. And then to go back to normal now, I'm going to get exit the uh, verify and then click on uh, fit then click on isometric to see my part back again and there you go you just learned how to use your first drill